Kamala Harris is not an encouragement to my two black daughters. Kamala Harris is an embarrassment to the black community because one, she's not black. Two, how come yesterday in her Atlanta rally, she had to show a rapper who talks about s who shake all over the place? Why did you have that there, Kamala? Why couldn't you just have black, intelligent women? I may disagree with politically, but just have them there to speak, to show black girls they don't have to shake their and sleep with somebody to get to the top. Oh, that's right, because you shook your and slept with men to get to the top. That's what you did, Kamala Harris. So, of course, your campaign going to be women like that. You're no encouragement to black girls. All right, y'all, we are back with another video. And before we start, please put prayers for Donald Trump in the comment section. We must protect President Trump at all times. Now, it bringing me to this video right here, man. It's just more and more evidence is coming out on Kamala Harris on reasons why nobody should vote for this woman. Nobody. Now, I said this photo will ruin Kamala Harris forever. I told y'all more information is coming out on here. I don't see how anybody can vote for this woman. This woman just had a uh, head twerking at a rally. Supposed to be a political rally. And she got a female rapper, Meg Thee Stallion, twerking on stage. And then you seen people were just walking out. It, I mean, it just don't make no sense at all. What is the Democrats going to say about this? Let it would have been Donald Trump, you know what I'm saying, like having a female come twerk at his rally. They'll be talking crazy about Donald Trump right now on CNN, MSNBC, ABC. They'll be talking crazy about him. But they allow Kamala Harris to get away with something like this. We're supposed to be a political rally. She could have invited somebody who's going to talk on the, on the mic the right way and not coming on stage twerking and shaking your butt and stuff like that. It just don't make any sense at all. So like I said, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. That way you can stay up to date with everything that's going on. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive straight into this because this is a uh, picture that Kamala Harris didn't want nobody to know about. Check this out. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. Okay, so there's been a whole lot of talk about Kamala Harris, and frankly, there's been a whole lot of pearl clutching as well, honestly, coming from both sides. Apparently, there's certain no-go zones. It's too scary to go there. It's too scary to say something like that. You might just hurt some independence feelings. Is this really the route that we're taking? Let the left control the narratives. Let them control what can and can't be said what's politically acceptable and what isn't because I'm pretty sure the whole point of voting for Donald Trump at least in the first place was to stop that nonsense enough with the politically correct tiptoeing how about if something's a fact if something happened if there's a clear obvious concern how about just identify it how about just tell the truth I don't know about you guys mm. but that's certainly my preference apparently nobody's allowed to criticize Kamala Harris as a DEI <laughs> hire because that's racist and you're attacking wow. women or something really but she's a DEI hire. Everybody knows it. Everybody's admitted it. The White House essentially admitted it. And apparently you're not allowed to mention anything relating to Kamala Harris and her very interesting relationship with Willie Brown. Because that's offensive to women. Mm. How is that offensive to women? If anything, what Kamala Harris did to advance in her career, that's offensive to women. Because what's the message here? Attain power at any and all cost? It doesn't matter what you have to do to get there? Give me a break. I will not be shamed into silence silence by the manipulative left. Let's have a conversation about how Kamala Harris became Kamala Harris the politician. Let's have a conversation about Willie Brown. We got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, folks. So apparently it's offensive to question Kamala Harris's competency. It's offensive <laughs> to question why she is in the position that she is today. No, it's not. That is not offensive at all. People do it to Trump all the time. Oh, he's a Nepo baby. He got everything handed on a silver platter. That's okay, apparently. But when you say that Kamala Harris got where she is, based on this culture of affirmative action, yeah, that's a no-go. Or making the claim that Kamala Harris rose to prominence because she literally slept with a 
guy. Yeah, apparently that's offensive too. Give me mm. a break. Megyn Kelly did a piece on this recently. Honestly, I'm going to piggyback off Megyn Kelly because supposedly you're a misogynist if you mention this, but here's a woman mentioning the same thing. Kind of hurts their defensive argument a little bit. Take it away, Megyn. I will not be shamed out of discussing this by people who say it's slut shaming or it's not relevant. It is relevant when a young candidate tries to sleep her way into politics mm. and into power. And that is what it appears Kamala Harris did when she was a young political aspirant in San Francisco, when she had an affair with a man 30 years older than she was. Wow. She was 29 to 30 and he was 60. Wow. Willie Brown, who was like the godfather of San Francisco politics and very well known. And sure enough, that relationship paid dividends for her in more ways than one. That's right, Megan, as you noted yesterday, it's it's completely fair game to talk about Willie Brown. It's how Kamala Harris went from a relatively unknown Alameda County prosecutor to the forefront of San Francisco's social life and politics. It, it, Willie Brown was the most powerful politician in California when Kamala Harris started dating her, dating him. And she, he also gave her a number of positions. We're talking about $400,000 back in, in the 1990s. That's almost 800000 in today's money. Wow. He appointed her to those positions that paid her lucratively. He gave her the keys to a BMW. And he went around the most powerful and most wealthy circles of, of San Francisco and California politics with Kamala Harris on, on his arm, opening up the doors to her her uh you know professional and political future so it was back when again she was 30 years old he was at the time democratic speaker of the california state assembly quoting here from a washington examiner piece which uh is very good uh, the position that he gave her on the california medical assistance commission in 1994 paid at that time over seventy thousand dollars a year which is about one hundred and twenty thousand in current money and she served on the board until 1998, so about four years. That medical commission met twice a month. So for two meetings a month, she was getting the equivalent of $120,000. And wow. you know why Democrats in San Francisco were mad about it? It wasn't because she wasn't qualified, which she wasn't. It was because those positions are supposed to be saved for only the most prized Democrats who Willie Brown really owed favors to, <laughs> who did really you know, amazing things to keep Willie Brown in power. But instead, he gave one to his lover. He was, by the way, still married, though he was reportedly estranged from his wife for a long time. So, she, But she, this was technically an extramarital relationship. And they were mad that he gave one of his choice grifting positions, not to somebody who'd done a lot for Democratic politicians, but to Kamala Harris. And not just that, there was another one. He gave her a second position as well, um, it, which was basically the same kind of deal where he just put gave her a, an appointment. She reeked in tons of money and boom, Bob's your uncle. She was off to the races in Dem politics. And then Willie Brown is on record as saying, I also then helped her with her next big position, which was becoming San Francisco DA. Those are the facts. That wow. This woman slipped her way to the top earned all that money, took a position that could have been earned by somebody else who really did earn it instead of what she did was she slept with a person for that position. She slept with Willie Brown for that position so she can remain in power. That's the reason why she's where she's at today. This is devastating. Kamala Harris did, did not want this photo resurfacing. She didn't want uh, people talking about it or anything. But they try to sit around and talk about Donald Trump and his past, but they don't want to talk about Kamala Harris. 30 years old, 29 and 30, sleeping with a with 60-year-old man just so she did that. And he was with somebody at the time. And she did that just to get power, just to get in a position. To, and she was getting all of this money just because she was sleeping with this man. And this is who people want to vote for? She did that. She allowed a female rapper to twerk on stage in front of a political in a political rally as if it was a concert or something like that. She didn't sell out the Atlanta Dome. Them people came there for that female rapper. And once Megan Thee Stallion left, you seen people in the crowd started getting up leaving. 
I, I, I mean, this is insane. I can't see how anybody wants to vote for this woman. I told y'all, we're going to start bringing out the facts about Kamala Harris. She's lying. She keeps saying she's black when she's really Indian. She's on video confirming she's Indian. But now she's trying to pander to the black people to get our vote. That's not going to happen. Everybody can see right through it. Just like Donald Trump said, he don't need entertainers. He don't need people like that to help him, you know, get a crowd. Donald Trump had over 100,000 in a blue state show up to his rally. Kamala Harris just had with 50 to 60 people at her last rally. And the people that just was just at her recent rally in Atlanta, them people came for Meg Thee Stallion. And when she got done, they left. <laughs> just crazy. Back in 1994, Brown appointed Kamala Harris to the California Unemployment Insurance Appeals Board, a position that at the time, back in the 1990s, paid her $97,000 annually. And this appointment was followed up the next year with another job appointment at the California Medical Assistance Commission. That's a job that paid her $72,000 a year. Both positions were part-time and didn't require any commitment, or at least much commitment. Wow. In other words, Kamala Harris was just walking into the most cushy, most privileged do-nothing jobs that you could imagine. Out of nowhere, she was a relative nobody. She then gets in a relationship with this Willie Brown fella, and all of a sudden, she's got it all. Let's add more context to that with this article from the New York Post. Kamala Harris's much older lover, that's Willie Brown, gave her a BMW and a salary-boosting job as she climbed Democrat Party ranks. She hooked up with this guy and got everything that she ever wanted. Yeah, seems a little bit suspect to me. You know, certainly raises a lot of questions. But apparently, questions that you're not allowed to ask. Give me a freaking break. These are the exact questions. I wonder if anybody going to ask her about these. Just like how they be asking Donald Trump about his past and what they try to lie on him and say he did. I wonder if anybody that interview Kamala Harris, like they be asking Donald Trump all these personal questions. Let's see if they're going to ask Kamala this about Willie Brown. Let's see if they're going to ask her that. And I guarantee you they don't. They ain't going to ask her nothing about this. <laughs> Slept her way to the top. ...that we should be asking. You know, is she qualified for the job? Did she get there based on merit? The evidence certainly doesn't point in that direction. You know, nope. how do you go from Kamala Harris, the next heir to the Democrat Party, only to have your entire campaign tanked into oblivion in a two-minute debate moment with Tulsi Gabbard? How do you go from the bottom of the barrel to then instantly getting picked vice presidential running mate? Obviously, it wasn't because of merit. It was due to skin color. Joe Biden said he was going to pick the first African-American vice president and then he did so did kamala harris find herself in that position because of her skills did she earn her way there by performing admirably during the debate process no obviously it was an identity play which of course they're continuing to openly admit the whole shtick is vote for kamala harris or you ain't black obviously that was the case but you're racist if you even mention that three-letter abbreviation hmm. dei so going back to the question is she competent well, it's not exactly confidence inspiring when the whole idea is suggesting that you should vote for Kamala Harris because of the color of her skin, and that's the only thing to celebrate, that essentially she's the first person of particular X identity to serve in a role. Nobody's talking about accomplishments. It's just race, race, race. But if you criticize yeah, that, you We are sick of identity politics. I, I can tell you that. I, I mean, it's nothing about Kamala Harris makes you want to vote for her. She's a liar. The, the news is not going to talk about this. They're just going to keep trying to paint Donald Trump uh, in a bad light. And the thing is, Donald Trump showed up to this uh, place on stage where he was in front of a black audience. And they said that Kamala Harris supposed to have been showed up and she did not show up. But she's the one on camera saying Donald Trump is scared to debate her. But yet she didn't even show up to where Donald Trump showed up to in front of the black crowd. Why didn't Kamala show up if Donald Trump's so scared of her? Why she didn't show up? The news don't want to talk about that. They want to keep saying Donald Trump is scared of Kamala. But yet when he showed up to a place that she's supposed to have been at too, she did not show up. But they ain't talking about that. For the racist. Make that make sense. And now just following up on the idea of competence, how did Kamala Harris get to where she is today? You know, what happened with Willie Brown? Was that whole situation ethical? I think that's a valid question. Donald Trump mentioned this the other day during his visit at the NABJ. I suggested, Harris, that uh, let's take one. I said, Joe and I will go and take a cognitive test. Now, I'd do it with her too. I would do it with her also. You know what? 
She failed her law exam. She didn't pass her law exam, so maybe she well, wouldn't pass the cognitive oh, test. Mr. President, are you saying she wouldn't pass? Just to I'm, be clear, I'm you just giving you the facts. Kamala Harris becomes the top cop, the top prosecutor in one of America's biggest, most significant cities, but she failed the bar exam her first time? <laughs> like, yeah, I know that happens, but is that really the best and the brightest that manages to get to the very tippy top of an industry or of a field? I don't know. You know, it raises a lot of questions and concerns for me, at least personally. This person, who's clearly incompetent. We're not gonna treat people who are undocumented across the border as criminal. Abolish ICE. Yeah. Is that a position that you agree with? We need to probably think about starting from scratch. Say it loud, say it clear. Everyone is welcome here. Giving universal wow. health care, Medicare for all to people who are in this country illegally. I am opposed to any policy that would deny in our country any human being from access to public health, period. Got to the very tippy top in the world of, I guess, let's call it public law. It just doesn't mm. make sense. And I don't think I'm a misogynist for suggesting that. I don't think I'm a racist for questioning, you know, the practices here. It seems as though Kamala Harris just magically fails upward. She's never actually earned anything. She's never nope. done anything of real significance in it. Right, because everything was gave to her. Obviously, we see she slipped her way to the top and to get to position, get the position that she just got, didn't have to earn it or anything. Got it just by sleeping with someone. And then she sit right in front of this camera and just lie. <laughs> Packed. But now everybody has to vote for her or you're a misogynist or racist. Give me a freaking break. Crazy. The Willie Brown situation is clearly concerning. There's obviously substance behind the criticism. It's not just blind, extreme, radical attacks on her because she's a whammon. And frankly, I'm sick of people suggesting that, especially Republicans. No, we can't do this. We can't say this. Then what are you supposed to say? Valid criticisms of the Democrat candidate now is apparently- I don't get why Republicans saying that about what you can't say, but yet they saying everything about Donald Trump. They keep bringing up lies from the past saying he R-worded a woman. This is what the, the Democrats are saying about Donald Trump. So how in the world can they not say something about Kamala? I, I mean, I want somebody to answer that. How can they not say nothing about Kamala, but yet they keep throwing all these jackets, putting all these jackets on Donald Trump saying, oh, how can you support Donald Trump when he did this to a woman? They say this all the time, calling him Adolf Hitler. I mean, all these names and then what you mean Republican, why, why they won't say nothing back to Kamala Harris? I just don't get it. Only off limits? I don't know. If anything, this sort of drop in confidence and all the infighting that I'm seeing on the right, if anything, that's what's spelling demise. You guys are allowing the Democrats to totally control the conversation. Yep. You're allowing them to shame you into silence. You're allowing them to create all of this fake hype and rewriting the history. You're feeding into it and then blaming the other people. Kamala Harris is a DEI hire. She is incompetent. Yep. It's very likely that she engaged in very unethical behaviors to get where she is today. Mm -hmm. And obviously that's a conversation people should be having. It's a massive concern that yep. I don't think should be ignored. Anyways, that's pretty much what I got for you. Salute to Liberal High Mind. Make sure y'all go over, subscribe to his channel. He does a great job over there keeping us up to date. When I seen this right here, when he was like the photo with this photo with Ruin Kamala Harris, I said, whoa, let me check this out and see exactly what's going on. Because I told you, more stuff is coming out by Kamala Harris uh, that the world needs to see. Because this woman don't, she, she, she don't need to be in power, man. Her policies are garbage. She want to let illegal immigrants in and she ain't going to do nothing about it. They can come in illegally. She trying to get murderers and all words out of, she trying to keep them out of jail. I mean, this woman, the country is already destroyed and she is trying to destroy it even more. There's no way. I'm telling you now, if Kamala get in office, we would not have a country. Our country is already messed up as it is. So we need Donald Trump back in office so he can fix this country because i mean joe biden and kamala has destroyed it so y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think about it thank you all for watching especially the ones that made it to the end and i catch y'all in the next one